Hey guys, here's a follow-up video. This is the Leslie Lack with the noisy bearings. I let the motor run for 24 hours with no blades and then 24 hours with blades. And let's see. Should we do zero to high first? Let's do zero to high first because I don't have the control right now. I think there's going to be a small inrush. I don't remember, honestly. Ooh, that looks like a big inrush. It certainly didn't draw that much before. So yeah, I'm definitely big inrush. It still draws more than I'm used to these drawing. Normally these are, like I said, around 0.6 or so. Well, still dropping. It's silent now. I don't know if you hear there's a slight ticking noise from the blender fan over my head wobbling. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> this is fine. Let's see if it's still stiff, though. I like these a lot. I think that if they remade these today and sold them with this blade shape in like brushed nickel finishes and like probably white with brushed accents and then bronze, <coughs> they could probably sell them to mid-century people. They kind of have that mid-century look even though they're from the 70s. The shape of it does. It, the finishes are very 70s. Brown and brass. White and brass. Brass and brass. Much better spin down. Still seems a little quick, but let's see how quick it stops. Oh yeah, that's still pretty stiff. And then does it go backwards? Quite a bit. So those bearings are really stiff, but they're silent now. Given that, I think it's gonna start around five or six. I skipped up to three, four, Five. Let's see if it keeps going. Oh, stalled. No, it didn't stall. So the question that remains is, what would it take for this to not be so stiff? We've tried WD-40. We've tried running it for the requisite 24 hours. I guess it just needs... <coughs> well, that's five. Five's pretty solid. Six. I don't remember where this went over. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Like I said, I told you this is going to be a quick video. Oh, God, I really like these. I like these a lot. It's just the proportions of them. Twelve. Oops, I skipped one. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. So you could use it on an 8, 12, 20. Very metal. Go up 25, see if it's over. Oh. 30, not over. 40. Is that over? Yes. 40 is over. Thirty-five is not. Thirty-seven is where it goes over. That's interesting. Okay, I remember this being pretty silent on the solid state control. Sure looks like it. So yeah, the question is, 
do I want to continue to let this run and see if it frees up any more? I guess I don't really see a reason for that if it's not getting installed anytime soon. If it was getting installed somewhere soon, we would just leave it run. Only thing I could reason I could think is if it's getting installed somewhere where I have to use a capacitor based control and the capacitor based control starts lower than five. Only circumstances un under which I could think that being applicable is um, if it had a light on it. Because the only capacitor based control I use where I can't change the capacitors is the one that also has the light dimmer. So. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in continuing to work with this. I think, uh, if I were to hang it somewhere, it wouldn't have a light. I don't generally like lights on these. It would not have a light, and I would put it on a solid state control because it's virtually silent. I wouldn't mind hanging one of these in the kitchen. I think these are a great kitchen fan for, like, a retro 70s house, which is what this is. Little bit of hum here, but it's honestly, I don't see how it's any different than like Yeah, it's the same. It's just motor hum when I switch to capacitor based control It still hums just a faint bit, but not any different. So yeah, I'm calling it silent and uh, Like I said, this is a potential kitchen fan down the road of course, the downside to that is that um, I wish they had this version with shorter blades, like not the three blade version, but four blades with this, just this, this exact fan, but just cut the blades six inches shorter. Six? Yeah, six inches would be perfect. But, uh, okay. I think I got one more thing I'm going to work on tonight, so keep watching.